Shalom. 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 Right, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Mokakwada. Right, double honor to the apostles of great ministry. You know, rule well, bless and citation to the men that push this word in sincerity and in truth. You know, they have few brothers from James, Trinidad, brother, brother, Khan, and brother Howard. You know, when you do a video through the Spirit of the Lord, you know, just debunking this video here. You know, we go play time, we go go through a few scriptures. You know, because he saw, this looked like a seven days video. You know, he saw our way of um, portraying certain things at the most high. You know, and, and corrupting the heavenly things at the most high, you know. Mm. So we go just, you know, so for that we go um, play the video and. So as you can see there, you know you're seeing the angels and things flying and you know um the female angels sounding the trumpet you know and you only seeing Esau blowing that trumpet that only females in the heaven blowing that trumpet right only females blowing that trumpet and really and truly you will never hear about a, a female angel presenting herself um, onto the children of Israel, right? You wouldn't see them thing. Uh, but here it is, Esau, Esau had, had, had his females here because the scripture tell you, hey, the, um, was that the Ezekiel, the tabernacle, the tabernacle you know, it, it is with men. Mm -hmm. You understand? Um, it have a scripture in, in um, Zechariah 5 and 9 to speak about um, the woman, but not really sure about that. You know, I will go into that, you know, actually elaborate that basically on how to, what that really mean. But we know that the Lord dealing with men, right? And as the scripture tells in um, the book of, um, the book of Second just chapter, um, Second Ezra chapter 1 and verse 39 it says unto whom 37 it says I take to witness the grace of the people to come whose little ones rejoice in gladness and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes yet the spirit they believe the things that is that I say and now, brothers, behold, what glory, and see the people that come it from the east, unto whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Hosea, Amos, and Michael, um, Mike, Heels, Machias, Joel, Abedias, and Jonas, Nehum, Abuchu, um, Sophonias, Agias, Zachariah, Zach, um, Zachary, and Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. Right? So, these were men, these were prophets, right? And they were called what angels of the Lord. Right? Never see you know, no. Angel. If I may say, when you, when you go into the word angel, it goes back to messenger. Okay. All right? And we are angels because we bring a message, the message of Yahweh, which I want to do the other nation of Israel and even unto the other nations telling them that they will be destroyed and they will go into slavery. Correct. So that that this year on the whole here that it, it, it do all that in the heavens. Right? It do all that through the spirit. Correct. And this right so um we'll continue the video because we wanna go into um in depth on how the destruction will be, you know? Check 
Quédate con la song. Also, also as I was saying, you know, basically, this is what would and really make these women and them feel get out of time, man. So what's it mean? Because the women feel, hey, the Lord dealing with we, you know, because they're watching, and that is what Esau does do. He does actually do things to upset the balance of how it's supposed to be. You understand? Because. Because women go and feel that hey, the Lord deal with we, so we don't need to listen to the men. You understand? And the because if you watch the everybody all in happiness and waiting for the Lord to come to them, but here we Amos five and eighteen say, it says, "Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light." So, hey, the day of the Lord is darkness and a light. So, the Lord ain't gonna come back in this, in this, um, in this aura, right? Hey, watch it. Watch. And it's only female. Are you see that? The majority of people is, is, is Edomite. Huh? Watch. Edomite angel. Watch. Uh, Edomite. Huh? Edomites. You ain't even seen our Jake day. The kingdom is not for we, but the kingdom is yet, yet for we. And that is the show you because with, the, with, with Job 9 and 24 say, he was just given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges. That is the show you how the white wash everything. You understand? Yeah. Because they're, they're really showing you that being a Jake is, is being something bad. You understand? But if that is the case, the Mosai's son is Israel. You understand? And he, he was a melanated man to the spirit of Yabash and Yahweh. So, so where are you going to say he, he was bad? He's going to try to whitewash everything eh, in terms of eh, the set up their own image, right? This is the book of um, Maccabees. One first Maccabees 3 and um, 48 it reads and laid open the book of the law wherein the heathens had sought to paint the likeness of the image of their image. So basically this is why you know in, in everything that basically these either might show you, they portray themselves to be as the chosen superior. and superior. Because in everything, especially eh, when it comes to the scriptures, you know, like in all the movies that are made, you know, the passion of etc mm -hmm. you know you only see that basically it's either might actors and basically it's either might actors they, they, they portray themselves to be you know it, it, they, they they carry out that role you know it, they, they they put out that image like hey they are basically they, 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 they are the chosen ones you know they put they they, they put themselves on they, they try to put themselves on that high rank but as the scripture said, you know, hey, the most I make me um he made Esau bear. Okay. So you know that basically hey, he uncovered his nakedness, so basically hey, it had nothing that, that these people could hide from us again. That's right. Man. You know, because as the scripture rightfully said, you know, the most I am um, revealed it his secrets unto his servants. Yeah, so we know who we are and we know who they are. Right? So you know, hey, we know who we are once again and, and that's why we could rightfully come out and say hey, we are a prophet. Not just onto the house of Israel, but onto all the nations, because we basically telling them basically who they are right now. We bringing their, them back to their nationality as well. Can't. Yeah, that's our scripture to bring. Yeah, let me just continue with the video here. You know, because this 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 what they portraying here is what the, the, the coming of the Lord, right? The so called rapture, right? They saw the Lord go and come, right? You ain't see no destruction, there. And 
Yani lol comme <rire> Is it The white Jesus The white Jesus On a horse On a horse Right Now this is the book of Isaiah 66 And verse 15 it says For behold The Lord will come with fire And with his chariots As a whirlwind His chariots as a whirlwind Which is the so called UFO Alright It says To render His anger With fury And his rebuke With flames of fire For with fire And by his sword Will the Lord plead with all flesh And the slain of the Lord shall be many So this basically telling you the Lord coming back To bring destruction um, To bring down um, in, in Luke um, If anybody has something you can bring it By the time You know so the Lord bring it The Lord in coming with a, with a Riding on Pegasus With a smiley face With a smiley white face you know what I mean? The Lord come back with that, with that, with that great, with that great snorter, with that great destruction. Um, yeah, look. Um, you want to preach it for the This is the book of Isaiah, thirteen and nine. It says, "Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and first anger." To lay the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners out of it. So you know hey the day of the Lord how it coming eh? it coming as a cruel day you know and the elect is will basically be safe in that day because in that day hey it, it could be darkness and a light as, as we read earlier because why did most high come in to basically cleanse this place and how these people basically portray the day of the Lord to be, it, it ain't so. It ain't nothing so because the Lord coming back with the chariots. You know, the chariots represent power. And, 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 and the Lord not coming back on no horse. Because to think about it, how, how, how these people really portray these things to be, it, it isn't. Well, this is Revelation 19 and verse 11. It says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. Now, these people right now, he portraying a white horse there, but that is not the horse that the scripture is talking about. When they talk about horses, actually, he was talking about the power structure. Mm -hmm. You understand? Of what the Lord coming back with. You understand? And the power structure even going into the... The, 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 the chariot which is the, the so called UFOs to you people but it's IFOs to us because they are identified through the scriptures of what they really are you understand so it say here and I saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he that sat on, on upon him was called faithful and true it ain't going to be no white pale head bastard alright with no red rope going on going on set upon that and be called faithful and true that was actually talking about Yahweh Shai alright mm -hmm. which in um, Revelation 1 and 14 where, where we got the description of him it shows you that as a man with white woolly hair and basically melanated skin you understand right now this bastard that you're seeing sat sitting on that horse day he in um, with white woolly hair and, and, and melanated skin so it shows you that hey that that could never be what the scripture are talking about it shows you where Esau does actually um portray things that is not scriptural in in on in on um chariots all over can all over me can read it on here here where it say it say was called faithful and true and in righteousness that he judge and make war you understand? But that petty are making it look like if all people are going to be saved in the sense that, you know, all the Edomites, when the scripture blatantly tell you that these Edomites have not the love or the truth abiding in them. So how them going to be saved? You understand? Reading on it says, 
His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew. And his clothes, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. All right, and his name is called the Word of God, which which the Word of God is Yahweh Shai. All right, and the armies which were in heaven followed upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, with it he should smite the nations. You ain't seeing nothing like no smiting and no nations going on there. Precept. I, um, sorry, um, Luke, 9, 12, Luke 12 and 49, it says, I come to send fire on the earth, and what will I, if it be already kindled? Right? So the Lord said, come to bring fire, set fire on the earth. I want the fire to already be kindled because that fire going to be lighted and ignited already by, wool, by that whole war tree. Right? They tried to fight with the chariots at the most high. You know, these other nations going to team up with each other to try to fight against the Lord. Yeah, which goes right? back to the, so like which goes back to the, the scripture where it says, I beheld and saw Lucifer falling as lightning from the heavens. That goes back to them trying to fight against the Lord and the Lord destroyed them up in that. That, that first heaven up there, which is the sky up there. Yeah, like that, that, they, they, that they, he saw um, power structure falling, right? Their kingdom being destroyed. You understand? Hey. So, so, so basically, you ain't seeing no kind of destruction here, you know? You ain't seeing no, you just seen peace, and you just seen Edomites. And in order to have peace, you had to have war. Yeah, peace is the byproduct. No. Why, why is it by product and peace? You know, as the scripture said, rightfully, there are time and season for everything. When you go back into the book of the Ecclesiastes, you know, a time to born, a time to die, etc. Ah, some of you. Gone. Right, you see, in everything there is peace, right? So, here what the scripture say. This is First Thessalonians 5, right? I read at verse 2. It says, Ye yourselves know perfectly that the day of your hour so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. You understand? Mm -hmm. We're showing you that the day of the Lord ain't going to be no peace and safety. It's going to be peace and safety for the elect. Yeah. All right? But for the rest of, of, of the, the, the inhabitants of the earth, it's going to be a time of gnashing and garnishing of teeth. Yeah, I want you to check out how a thief has come. A thief that has come unannounced. unannounced. When you're not watching, that's why these people say, you know, you have to be constantly um, basically watching. Because as watchmen of the Lord, you know, hey, according to the book of um, Ezekiel 33, you know, hey, what a watchman does do, a watchman does just sound the alarm. When you when see in that danger, right now we sound in the alarm because we know that the Hawa Bashim on the way back. Hey. You know, to hey. save us, to save the Ilya. Abarat is that one to the part that hopefully, like, you know, we're going to be taken up. Yeah. Uh -huh. We had to go out and, and basically do the works. And if I could say, I'm um, watching all now because what we're doing right now, we're debunking this pack of garbage here. Eh? Yeah, we're breaking them, we eat our strongholds. Yeah. You know, hey, we're tearing it down, we're exposing it with the liar that he is. Uh, as the scripture rightly said, you know, he, he was a, a, um, a liar and a mur he was a murderer and a liar from the beginning. And abode not in the truth. Can. You understand? That there's no truth in him. Can. So, these Edomites, alright, they abode not in the truth. The love of the truth is not in them. So, how could you be saved by the Most High God? A precept, if you're not thing there. Um, this is the book of um, the book of Obadiah because you Edomites, you white people, it goes back to um, your biblical name is Esau, Edom, right? We stayed away, right? And the book of Obadiah, right? It it, it, it proclaims your just your your um, destruction, your judgment, your future judgment. Okay, so the book of Obadiah so that. The book of Obadiah, um, verse 1, chapter 1 and 1, it says, The vision of Obadiah that said, Yahweh power, concerning Edom, 
we have heard a rumor from the Lord an ambassador is set among the heathens right so these people here you see here they are heathens all right they are heathens there's only heathens you see here watch watch not a Jake it says um, arise ye and let us it says arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle behold i have made thee small among the heathen thou art greatly despised the pride of thine heart has deceived thee thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks whose inhabitant habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground though thou exalted thyself as an eagle and though thou set thy nest among the stars, then shall I bring thee down, say the hour. Right? So all exalting all yourself as mighty. Right? All exalting all yourself as if all is the heavenly father. Right? Chosen. Right? And that is pride. So the Lord say, You will not bring you all down. As the brother quoted, um, he saw Satan um, um, cast out of heaven. Heaven. Done. As, as, as um, lightning. Right? So this 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 picture that all they portray in here is the next way around. It's supposed to be fire and nuclear missiles going from one continent to the next. And the the the, the, the elect of the heavenly father that's that's slitting truth. Right? It's supposed to be a bloody bath. Right? That jumping to um, Verse 7, it says, All the men of thy confederacy, I mean verse 8, it says, Shall I not in that day say Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and the understanding of the Mount of Esau? So the wise men, right? Because wisdom of this world is, 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 is not is foolishness to the heavenly father. So the Lord will not destroy the wise men out of Edom. Right? Which even the wise. To, so like, which goes back to all you TD snakes. You know? Nah, you see these niggas now. You know, know the one, um. Joel Asti. No, the one who, who he and his wife created the, the devil's juice. And say that the, um. The Negroes and the Latinos are going to take it first. Kill Gates. Kill Gates. Right? All they have basically is the wise men in Edom right now. Because you are the ones that concocting all manner of, of evil to, to take down Yasharala. You understand? Yeah, so so that goes back to you. Can so yeah, as the brother says, it says um shall it nothing that they destroyed even the, the wise man out of eat um Edom and understand out of the Mount of Esau. So as I was saying the wise the wise, the so called wise at this world you gonna get destroyed. You think when I know road are you under for all you? You know when you <coughs> when you road are you under is for the nation as well. That is when we're gonna get back the kingdom of the heavenly father. Right? Now we got to take him back the kingdom by force. By force. Bring where you bring in. Yeah. Um, Jeremiah, it means Jeremiah. Psalms 83 and 1. It says, Keep not thou silent. O Yahweh, hold not thy peace, and be not still. O power, for thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up thy, the head. Right? And who hate thee, Heavenly Father? Right? Esau. Right? The so called white man. And how we hate the Heavenly Father? Because everything that the Heavenly Father stands for. They stand against it, right? They make their own laws, they make their own Bible, right? They they portray themselves as God, mightier than God, thinking that they're more superior than the Heavenly Father. Mm-hmm. In the book of Psalm 7 and verse 9, it says, Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, mm-hmm. but establish the just. Establish the elect. God. Establish the elect. Uh-huh. 
right? Yeah, it says for the righteous, yeah, power try it, the heart and rain. And the righteous power try the heart and rain. That we say? Yeah. yeah, the Lord try the heart and, and, and rain. Right? So he tried the heart of who? Of his, his elect. Right? That we try the heart. Deceive the heart of the, of, of the elect. Well, as a matter of fact, the, the elect ain't going to get deceived. Nah. You see? The elect ain't going to get deceived. You know, but Esau, you, you, you think that your kingdom is going to go on. You think that everything is going to be airy in this place. You know, you feel that your house is going to go on forever. That it's going to rain forever. But each kingdom had a time to reign and they had a time to be conquered, right? The Babylonians, they get conquered by the Medio Persians, right? The Medio Persians, they get conquered by the Greeks, so on and so forth, right? The Greeks get conquered by the Romans, right? And now we're in the last leg of the, of the Roman Empire, and they're going to get conquered by who? Yeah, our Bashem Yashai. The king, the, 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 the house of David went and take back the kingdom. Like is, and after this, 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 this conquer, they, they, they ain't going to no war, they ain't going to no war no more. You know, because they, the, the Lord gave the elect, you know, them spiritual powers. So we could be the rightful rulers that go rule once again in all righteousness and forever. So we ain't going to ever be going off again, we could be perfect. And upright. All right. This is um second Ezra fifteen and verse. Bara bing, bara boom. Um. Verse eight. It says, "Therefore say the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more, as touching their wickedness, which they profanely committed." Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Now, what is the reason why the Lord's people complaining? It's because you same so-called Edomites, these, these same ones who flap in their hands and feeling like them as angels, you are the same ones mm. that do wickedly towards the Lord's people. You understand? And if the Lord hadn't set all their judgment, all right, wickedness would continue to go on in this place. All right? And that is why the Lord say he no longer going on holy tongue as touching all their wickedness. All right? Because verse 10, it says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. All right, and the time coming where the Lord going and take us out of uh, this Babylonian system. All right. This is Isaiah 14. <laughs> Go ahead. Isaiah 14. I will read at verse two. It says, "And the Lord shall take them and bring them to their place." And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. He that right? to the captivity must go into captivity. He can. So it shows here that, that this road of yonder that all you <laughs> so want to think. This is the road of yonder all you want to think. <laughs> you understand? High five. <laughs> can. This is the road of yonder. All right? Where it says, And the Lord and the people shall take them and bring them into their place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids, thy slaves. Yeah, we're gonna make fun of you. You made fun of us in, in, in the time of captivity. In this time, anyway. Hey, oh well, no, yeah. And, and the scripture say, you know, hey, we could do double unto them as they did unto us. Okay. Yeah. You know, so hey, right now, in our normal mind right now, I mean, hey, we can't think and uh, 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 doing double unto Esau right now. Because, hey, the most I had to really put it in your heart, no, your mind, your lahab, to do this, do this thing unto them because the cruel things that they did unto us, hey, you know, it, it, it had no words to explain that. Because, because what the scripture you know, say, the scripture say, say Salah. Hey, yeah, like, what the heart, what they did to us long time, they used to take the young ones, 
I will feed them to alligator or, or use them as bait, you know, for the alligator to make what leather belt and etc. And like, hey, what they used to do? They used to, 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 to take our women, you know, and what practice these abortion and these things, pull the child out and cut them open, etc. Precept. Yeah. This um Revelation 18 and 6. It says, Reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her, double according to her works in the cup which she filled, which she had filled, filled to her double. Yeah, and, and that's why I say, hey, to think, to think, to do double unto them, because the, the, such wickedness was done unto us from 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 the nation of Edom. You know, hey, it's Musa is the one who had to basically put that in, in in your heart to do that unto them. Because if you say the Musa is just in all ways. And double coming onto them because the Mosa is a power of, of a righteous judgment. In corner. Yeah, I was just reading on in the Isaiah 14 where it says, And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. So it shows you that even right now we are the Edomite captives. You understand? But the day is coming where that table is going and flip. Alright? Maybe 31 minutes already. And, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Alright? So right now you Edomites are our oppressor in this era. Right? But the time is going to come where we are going to be all your oppressor. Alright? That's right, yeah. So hey, this whole picture, this whole you road I and here, with, and, and, and this right here is separatism here because all they separate is all they separate the blacks from the from the whites. You didn't see no white person here much. No black person here really actually. They they to this image to be so sure you good to see. You didn't see no white person here? Yeah. Black person here, sorry. And that is to show you because the scripture I see that he have kept he had he had cast off his brotherly covenant and he has kept his hatred forever so even within this thing where he make here it's showing where he kept his hatred against the so-called blacks forever forever yeah mm -hmm. hey so hopefully hey, the, the video was that if i you know bring some edification to the saints that they have any father you know so we want to give all praises and I'm glory again to you. How are you? I'm going to give the to the apostles of great millstone who will rest in citation to the men that approach this world in sincerity and the truth. Shalom.